What's up everyone, Josh here again. It's Monday, September 18th, 2023. Exactly one year ago today, I started my fitness journey. Uh, you know, like many of us, I had been threatening to, to get healthier for a while and uh, it was always gonna be Monday or next week or after this. All the bullshit we tell ourselves, right? But uh, thankfully, my good buddy Bill Lutz started a weight loss contest, and uh, that was it. Turned it into a contest, uh, especially put money on it. You know, we, we all paid in, and it, it was a six-month challenge, and at three months, somebody got half the money. Uh, and at three months, or at six months, somebody got the other half of the money. So... For me at that point, it was game on. I had already had the desire, I wanted to do it. Um, I, I, I guess, honestly, I just didn't value myself enough at that point in time, if, if I'm completely honest. I didn't put enough worth into who I am uh, to make that commitment to myself. But I was able to make that commitment to the competition. And, uh, you know, however it is that I've ended up here and, and how I started that journey, um, I probably wouldn't have recognized that back then. I do now, and uh, a lot of things have changed since then. So uh, I went on strict keto diet and got in the gym. everybody's different that may not work for you maybe whatever uh, but that's what I did I uh, and I got in the gym every day and I, I I worked myself to death because it didn't take very long for me to get in there and uh, see exactly how out of shape and and how useless my body was um, how far I let everything go and um, in every way honestly you know it, it, it really became clear to me very quickly that uh, I just letting everything go mentally emotionally physically spiritually and that uh, I need to get my shit together so I don't necessarily recommend this part, but it's, it, is, it is part of my story and it's what got me to where I am. So I was in the gym uh, seven days a week outside of uh, a few times being sick. I refused to miss the gym day. Um, I would lift weights for two and a half to four hours a day every day. Um, doing drop sets and uh, then I'd go run on the treadmill so you know everybody tells me oh you were overtraining and and uh, you know it won't work and that's the old way of doing things and blah 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 but listen I, at that point in time I really was moving weight around or you know I'd run I'd literally I'd run on the treadmill 30 minutes uh in 30 minute intervals two and three times a day um and I wasn't uh I wasn't trying to get my body right nearly as much at that point as I was my head and my heart um and then there was just a lot that went with that but, uh, is this part of the story, right? I mean, it's part of the journey. There, there was times uh, I would be so disgusted with myself physically that I would be in the gym pushing weight, sweating, tears streaming down my face, uh, so much anger, so much pain, uh, so much sadness that uh, 
it, you know, it, it just comes out. And uh, I, I really <laughs> learned to not care. Thank God I'm not a, a, in that instance, I'm not a big ugly crier or a loud ugly crier. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like that, but you know, there would be times that tears would just be running down, tears of frustration. Uh, would, would just run down my face and thankfully like I said I sweat a lot so I, I never hopefully look too too much uh, out of poor that place but uh, you know I just powered through powered through powered through I didn't know where I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know what direction my life was supposed to go um, still not exactly clear on that but uh, my compass is getting, uh, my compass is working a lot better these days, thankfully. Um, you know, I just, I just showed up and did what I knew I was supposed to do and trusted the process. Uh, so we got three months in and I can't remember how far off it was, but... Uh, I didn't win that three month leg uh, so I kicked it in uh, I kicked it I kicked it in high gear at that point <laughs> um, which I mean I know right like what more could I do so I started lifting heavier and I uh, started I went back to you know the whole time I had been doing I do 10 I'd do 10 sets, 10 reps, uh, drop sets, and I'd start off at max weight and go down 10 or 20 pounds, whatever the cable machine was, and uh, and I'd do 100, and then I'd move to the next machine, I'd do 100, and I'd move to the next machine, I'd do 100, and uh, the whole time, you know, I'm just really trying to build good strength, good muscles, uh, but endurance, because, uh, you know, one of the things that I had uh, also needed to work on was quitting. You know, I went through some stuff with my, my daughter, and uh, it really just took the wind out of my sails, and I, I just quit everything in life, quit caring, quit everything. And I knew that was the biggest demon I needed to battle back from. Uh, so... That, that's still how I work out. Uh, I work out a lot harder now, a lot heavier weights, but um, I don't do as many reps. Um, but I still I work out to failure on everything and then I'll go get on the treadmill. Uh, my trainer says I'm only allowed to run 30 minutes a day now, so I'm trusting that process too, although I do miss running uh, two and three times a day. But, uh, so I just dug in, man, that next three months, and I ended up just barely squeaking out the win in the contest, which was awesome. And, uh, you know, I'd already built up some confidence, but that gave me a little more. And, you know, what I found over time was it was just the daily routine of showing up for myself that was the biggest asset. Um, that became the biggest reward and still is you know keeping the promise to myself that I'm not going to quit that I'm going to stay in this uh, that I'm going to do what I can to be a healthy and purposeful uh, peaceful and, and maybe eventually somewhat happy person but uh Along the way, man, I started getting to know all the, a lot of you really well because you guys saw what I was doing. And uh, so to me, like I talk to all of you all the time on social media or races or, or uh, you know, whatever messages. And so I know you and we all, and, and majority of us have a relationship to some degree. And I appreciate all the comments and support and everyone that's joined me on my fitness journey and who's getting healthy uh, also and 
which drives me even more because now I feel more accountable to myself because now I can't quit. You guys are, you guys are doing what I'm doing because I'm doing it. So I can't dare quit right now, right? But, uh, you know what I realized, uh, most recently, sometimes you just got to go through absolute hell in your life whether it's for a month or a year or decades. Uh, and, and you don't have to necessarily understand why, but you have to fight back. At some point, you know, you have to fight back through all that and, and come out of it and get on the other side because, yeah, maybe something 20 years ago still stays with you. Uh, but you got to deal with it. And if not for you, you got to be able to deal with it for you. I mean, ultimately, we got to deal with our stuff for ourselves. But if you can't deal with it for yourself in that moment, because sometimes we can't, there's somebody else out there who needs to know that pain, who needs to understand that journey. And uh, you got to be that example for them sometimes. So maybe sometimes you don't understand fully uh, why you're saving your life or why you're making those changes but while you are you're helping other people uh, make their lives better and uh, and that's important uh, so you know won that money to six month mark and that was awesome and I think, so I started off at 327.8 pounds. And when I won that money, I believe I was 263-ish pounds, if I remember correctly. So, you know, I was just peeling off the weight, healthy, wasn't starving myself. I was eating 12 to 1500 calories a day and uh, drinking, you know, one to three gallons of water, or whatever my body wants. I just do it um, and exercising and just plugging away. And so now, you know, uh, I've lost more weight and I've added a ton more muscle. Um, but I knew today was coming up. So this past week in the gym, I've really been hitting it hard and uh, took the GoPro with me so I could get some footage and not to show off for you guys or anything like that, just to show you that hard work pays and uh, you know, where I started at and where I'm ended up. And uh, you know, for instance, on this clip, um, I'm doing lateral pull downs, which is good for your shoulders and your back exercise. And when I started off on that machine a year ago, I was uh, I was on a cable machine and doing, um, I believe, 160 or 180 pounds is where I started off at. And my last workout on Friday, uh, I wanted to show you guys, you know, how far I'd come. So I loaded it up with uh, 410 pounds. And um, for the past month, I've been doing static. So that means I'll pull it down, hold it as hold it for five seconds, release it slow, pull it back down slow, hold it for five seconds. So I do that six times and then I'll finish out the set with uh, six regular pulls. So I'll work the muscles to exhaustion, um, to failure, and then I'll work them six more times beyond that, take a minute rest, um, take some weight off, took 50 pounds off, do the same thing again. And next time I'll take 90 pounds off, same thing again. Uh, so anyhow, I, uh, I'd done that and what what happened after the first set 
was probably the best lesson that I've gotten so far, which is some kid, a teenager, who's in there working out, came over um, and said this. Yo, that was so heavy. Was that four plates at 25? What's that? Was that four plates at 25? Last time? Dude, that was yeah, a really so. heavy way, man. Good job, man. man. <laughs> I want to be like you one day. Uh, I want to be like you one day, man. And so, in that moment, like when I go to the gym, I clock in. So nothing else matters but working out. And in that moment, it really didn't, um, I really didn't comprehend the gift that kid gave me, um, his acknowledgement. Um, here's a complete and total stranger that saw what I was doing, um, understood the journey that it takes to get there and came over, uh, not only to congratulate me, but to tell me that he sees enough worth in me that someday he wants to be like me in that respect and that was kind of when it all clicked for me that uh, this journey's never been mine uh, you know the real the real gift has been over this last year uh, being able to help you guys and to inspire you guys. Um, you know, a complete stranger that doesn't even know me took notice of what I was doing and, and saw the greatness in me. And that's something I still have trouble seeing in myself. So that acknowledgement was tremendous for me. Uh, in a lot of ways and I'm, I'm just so grateful to be able to be at a place in my life now because of this uh, journey that I can give back to the world uh, and help you guys help so many people it's uh, it's humbling and I've helped myself I'm helping myself along the way too which is awesome um, you know, I've been in the dark so long. So much of my life has just been spent focusing on the dark. And, uh, you know, I've done so many dark things and been a part of, just been around so much of that shit that uh, when I started all this out, I, uh, I was seeking the light you know trying to get out of the darkness and, and I felt like I had to go towards the light and, and find the light and I didn't know if that light was God or positivity or self love or what happiness you know I didn't know what that light was I just know that I'm in the darkness and I need to get in the light right but what I've come to learn and kind of what that moment taught me is that I'm not supposed to seek the light. I'm supposed to become the light. And and I think that's the that's the message. That's the thing that I was supposed to learn this entire time. And I think that's true for all of us. We all have those dark moments uh, or we have a thousand of them. They last a minute, they last a year, a month, a decade, you know, 30 years, 40 years. And, and at some point, we're supposed to realize that we're supposed to become the light. That, that that entire time has been strengthening us and teaching us and sculpting us and molding us uh, to become our best selves. And it's our responsibility to work towards that and to... Uh, you know, be the light in the darkness that somebody else can travel towards until they can turn into the light themselves. Man, that's powerful. So, 
you know, I've learned a lot, man. You guys have taught me a lot. Uh, I definitely couldn't have gotten here by myself. Uh, I've, I've had, uh, you know, I've had some good instruction and a good support system behind me. Um, help, help me with routines and, uh, nutrition. Uh, those things are definitely important. But, uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's on you. It's on, at the end of the day, it's on me to, uh, keep the promises to myself you know uh, like Bedris Koulian says that was one of the most in the very beginning for me that was like one of the my biggest sledgehammers of reality for me that was uh, you know that's how we get back to who we are and who we want to be is making promises to ourselves and keeping them um, you know just being dedicated and consistent like I said, I didn't know what the hell I was doing in the beginning or where I was going, but I just showed up every damn day. I still don't know completely. You know, the fog is lifting. I can see visibility is getting better, but there's no true clarity, and there may never be. Um, but I know my compass is working better now. My emotional, mental compass, and uh, the fact that I have the the, the strength and the courage um, to speak up for myself even if I gotta clear my throat even if I gotta take a deep breath um, because it's easy to speak out of love or out of anger and for me I gotta learn I'm learning to speak out of love and kindness and uh, uh, patience and understanding um, so it's always been easy for me to voice my opinion out of anger but uh I'm, I'm, it takes a lot of courage, man, to stand up for yourself from a place of love and, and uh, kindness. You know, don't and, and stop compromising your truth. You know what you want. You know who you are. You know who you want to become. And uh, don't let anybody tell you different or stop you. That, that doesn't mean... Don't listen to people because uh, they sometimes we're on the wrong path. Sometimes we're not doing it just, we're not doing it as well as we could or we don't see things. So we got to have our people that we trust to, to help guide us that aren't just yes men and, uh, and who we know truly have our, our best interests at heart. And thankfully, I have a couple of those, man, that I can just talk to about anything. And they tell me, yeah, that's great. Or, yes, that's good, but it could be great if this. Or, no, I don't think that's meant for you, and here's why. Or, you know, hey, man, I noticed this going on. And uh, I just want to bring it to your attention because I think you can improve here. And I think by doing that, it would really benefit you. Um, I need those people. We all need those people. They're valuable. And we need to listen to their counsel when they're when they give it to us. And, and you know, I'm learning not to beat myself up. I'm a, I've always been my own worst critic. I place expectations on myself that n nobody else ever would. Um, and so I'm learning to be a little more realistic and and then being more realistic I'm learning not to beat myself up as much when I make mistakes or when I fail just to learn from it rededicate myself to it and uh, keep chipping away at it until I succeed whatever it is um, and sometimes situations aren't a failure sometimes they're just not meant for you so you got to find the courage to move on um, as well. You know, I, I just recently got out of a situation like that where I kind of felt like I was the failure. I was the, I was the problem, but it really wasn't that. And uh, as soon as I changed it, just phew, instant, 
instant uh, happiness and uh, anxiety and, and this huge dark cloud burden, whatever, you know, just gone out of my life. And I got a few more of those that I got to get taken care of, but, uh, you know, again, we can only do what we can do in and trying to understand, man, that uh, life's a joke. It really is a joke, and death is the punchline. So I need to smile and laugh more and enjoy it more, uh, not take everything so serious. Uh, and, and try to do what I can to bring kindness and... Uh, maybe some laughter and, and and goodness to the world because Lord knows I've brought enough of the other shit uh, in my lifetime and I need to uh, I need to make restitution so yeah man a year later in the gym I've lost um uh, I went from 327 pounds to today I am 233 pounds, 234.0 pounds. I really was trying to get to that 233.9 mark. Sorry, uh, I told that little lie there just because I want it so bad. <laughs> but I'll get there. But uh, I'm so much leaner now and happier. Uh, I've probably in the last year put on 20 pounds of muscle so I've lost more than 100 pounds of fat uh, I feel great um, energetic my body range of motion all that stuff is amazing and uh, I really learned to enjoy the gym and working out I still go in there and work out angry some days but for the most part I just go there and enjoy it and I'm learning to enjoy myself in those moments and uh, sort out life's problems and uh, just have fun continuing trying to learn and grow you know I listen to a ton of audio books uh, on self-improvement and uh, I'm just trying to I'm trying to be a better person and I am because of you guys um, as well you know I've definitely put in the work and I'm just getting started so I don't know I know this one's been kind of all over the place and not good for content but listen if you made it this far I really appreciate it you guys are the real ones and uh, we got a lot more to do I got a lot more going on and uh, I can't wait to share with all of you guys and I'm, I can't wait for all of you guys to continue to share your uh, your progress physically, mentally, and emotionally with me. Let's all keep growing together and uh, learn from one another. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it means the world to me. Thank you.